All right, I am going to share with you how I run my entire home with popsicle sticks. And the beauty of this is you can use this no matter how many people are in your family, no matter how old they are, what your family value system is regarding, you know, chores and work and allowances. It is a completely adaptable for exactly what's going to be right for you. I'm Tamson Horton. I help people go from ideas to income. And this is part of the outsourcing series. And it's working on outsourcing the stuff that is closest to us, which is the stuff within our home and our families. So before we have to go looking out in terms of finding help to make life simpler and buy back our time, I wanna show you how popsicle sticks have revolutionized families all over the globe. So all you need are popsicle sticks and then containers. You need one main container and then the number of family members that are gonna be using your system, every one of them will need a cup. Now, when we first started, I have two kids that are now six and two, and when our oldest was a baby, my husband and I have actually been using this system since we were engaged slash newly married. I was a law student, so we've been using this a long time. And what I found is I knew everything that had to be done in our house, but it was all in my head, and I would feel like, oh my gosh, why why can't someone just look and know the front of the fridge needs to be wiped off? Why doesn't someone know to, you know, clean out the freezer of the breadcrumbs? Well, one, no one else really cared, but it was bothering me and I was feeling like I was doing everything. But when I stepped back and looked at it, I was like, well, I wouldn't know to do half of the things that my husband does if he didn't tell me. So we needed a system that I didn't have to constantly communicate and that would be super easy. So what we did is we had some popsicle sticks and I wrote on the popsicle stick every single thing I did during the week, every single thing that needed to be done. So this one says clean the fridge. This is empty the trash. We have lots of empty the trash sticks. There's laundry, there's iron shirt, and there's emptying the dishwasher. So those were a few of the tasks. And what we did is we put them all in a cup, just like this, and they were cleaning tasks that would be from five minutes to 10 minutes. So the quick stuff, not the you know spend forever cleaning, but just the easy, hey, I have 10 minutes here, grab a stick, and wipe out the microwave, grab a stick and empty the dishwasher, like the quick and easy stuff. So when the person did the popsicle stick, they got to put it into their cup. And then at the end of the week, you can add up, you know, we put money on ours. So again, this is where whatever your family value system is, your family culture is around chores and allowances. You could put anything on this. You could put, you know, um, family board game, like play a board game. You could put go for a walk, like whatever your reward system is for your family. And I encourage you, if you haven't thought about that, think about what is it that is important to us? What do we want to reward? Um, all of us at work for praise. We work Yes, there's there's the internal portion, and so not to diminish the internal, but we are motivated by rewards and by benefits. It's how people, you know, get promotions in their job. It's how we grow our businesses. We grow them because we enjoy the benefits that come with that hard work. So that we have amounts on our stick. So folding laundry is actually a dollar, and it goes into the cup. Then at the end of the week, you add it up and everybody gets their spending money. Now, when we had um, our oldest, we, you know, he got his own sticks. And now that he's six, he fully participates in the, uh, the stick system. Tad is two, and he's still not ready for it. So Tad does not have a cup right now. He's our youngest. He's two. Um, but that's all you do is you figure out what are the tasks that need to be done in your home on a weekly basis make a stick for them. Now, that's your main cup. What I found is that things like making beds, emptying trash, emptying um, the dishwasher, those I would make like five emptying the trash sticks and I put them right 
by where our trash can is. So I do have sticks around the house in different containers that are specific to those tasks. So making the bed in our master bedroom, there's sticks in the bedroom. Kip's bedroom, sticks over there. So you can have, you know, if you know, okay, I know we're gonna do this more than once in a week, put some sticks, you know, in that location, save yourself some time, and then have a main area where um, you're keeping your sticks. Ours happens to be in the kitchen. You can see that in the pictures. Um, and then at the end of the week, let's say that we just hadn't gotten a lot done in that week. We set the timer on our microwave for 30 minutes and we do a power cleaning. We also turn over our 30 minute timer, which if you haven't watched the video, go watch the video on um, my secret weapon, which are uh, timers because for kids they need to see time if they can see time the nagging goes away yelling goes away misunderstandings go away because they can see all oh, right we're doing this task until all the sand is gone it is brilliant so power cleaning for us is any sticks that are left everybody dives in we flip over a timer we set it on the microwave um, that's more for the noise feature so that we don't so that we know when the um, hourglass timer has run out and then we get everything done so that that is it now I will tell you as you use this you'll start finding jobs that you didn't initially have we live in Michigan <laughs> and in the winter my husband thank goodness um, snow blows our driveway and our walkway every morning well that's a lot of work so he, I came in one day, this was a couple years ago, and he was making himself sticks for snow blowing the driveway. Absolutely. You're totally doing that. Make yourself some sticks. I'm not even going to try and get those sticks. Um, but you'll see how it evolves for your family. And it's a fun way to gamify living, you know, to doing stuff. And the great part is, bonus, if you do have someone that comes in to help you with your house cleaning, they, you can have, you know, it's an easy way to communicate with them. Hey, you know, here's the stuff that you're doing this week, and oh, by the way, I need this done extra. Or for us, it's really important for me that my kids learn the value of taking care of what they have. For me, it's a respect issue. It's learning to take care of the things that we've been given, to take care of it, to respect it. And so I do want them to learn how to clean and take care of things. I also want them to understand the value of buying back their time. And so that is how I am blending these two pieces together because for me, they're not exclusive. It's not, yep, you know, the house cleaner comes and all she does all of that and you don't have to do anything. It's blending. It's that we are all part of the same team. We're all working together. We're all making this, you know, go together in a way that's very harmonious. So that is how you can blend the two pieces together if you do have someone that comes in to help you with cleaning and, you know, maximize what they're able to do for your family. Also while helping your family um, have fun and gamify and, you know, literally run life with popsicle sticks. So that is how I run everything in my home with popsicle sticks. I would love to hear what you think. Are you Have you used these before? Do you have a different system? And most of all, if you do try it, please let me know how it goes. Like, I would love to know how old your kids are, what you put on your sticks, um, and what your family thought. So have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you again really soon. Bye-bye.